All right, today I'm gonna do a fun little easy gift tutorial. This does not require Photoshop. This does not require anything except Illustrator and the internet. So you're gonna set up your artboards. I put five on here. You will need that for however many different frames you want in your GIF. And I made them 500 by 500 pixels. It really does not matter what size they are as long as they're all the same size. Um, I prefer to work in square. And I went ahead and typed this out because you guys voted and wanted me to do stationary, not stationary, which I think is hilarious. So I went ahead and typed this out and basically what you're gonna do is type out whatever you want, make it pretty, you can use elements, you can use pictures, and then you're going to copy, so control C. And then you're gonna paste in place, which is shift control V. And you're gonna do that on every artboard so that it's in the exact same place. It doesn't really matter where it is on the artboard. Like it could be all the way up on top. It could all be all the way on the bottom. It doesn't matter at all. You just want it in the same place on each artboard. So I typically go with centered so that if something gets out of place, it's easy to get it back in place. Um, and that's why you want to do the paste in place as opposed to just paste because it'll paste it in the same place on each artboard. So then you want to change whatever it is that you want to change about this GIF. So here are a bunch that I did and I'll show you some of the things. So this one has kind of a building shadow. The main text is white. It builds a shadow. This one is three different colors. This one, like it goes dot, 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 which is kind of fun. Um, some of the, if you can't see it, it's just cause it's white. Um, this one has the changing colors of just the exclamation point. This one has these little, yay, starburst things <laughs> that change colors. Like that one's yellow and then it changed to blue and then pink. Um, this one types out. So I added some more frames. Let's watch this with an exclamation point. Um, and there's lots of color changing. This one expands. So it's this, this one has a tracking of 75. This one has a tracking of 200 and this one has a tracking of 25. So it just kind of goes back and forth. Um, this power and pricing one is kind of cute. The number, the dollars just rotate and kind of make interesting little, you know, it just kind of goes back and forth updating. <laughs> So whatever we're gonna do here, I kinda wanna add in a color change, but I want all of it actually to be a more fun color. So I'm just going to go grab my branding colors and we'll start out with pink for everything. Um, if it doesn't show up super well in the white background, it's not a big deal. It's gonna show up differently depending on what your stories are. So you wanna do a lot of different colors, um, different options. I like the light colors better than like a black or something. And then I want this color to change. So we'll have it starting out as yellow and then I'll go with blue. And then we'll go with red. I did make five frames for this, but you don't necessarily have to use all of them. This is a different color of yellow and I'll use the darker blue as well because we have the frames. <laughs> and then whatever it is, is going to start back over at one. So you just kind of want to make sure everything is where it is. You didn't move anything. So then you'll export and do export as. You can choose for it to go literally wherever you want. I made this folder for it and you want them all to export as PNGs. Using the artboard, again, it doesn't really matter what size the artboard, but you do want to use them. And then you'll select either all or however many you want. Save. And you want to make sure it's a transparent background. So you'll click OK. Now, this is the fun part. You're gonna go to easygift.com, click on gift maker or easygift.com slash maker, choose your files. And we're just gonna choose all five of these. One thing that's kind of important is to keep your, if you're doing a bunch of them, just to keep your artboards in order. So if you were to do, you know, if they were named, numbered differently and you had five, four, then these two would be switched. So just pay attention to the order that you want them to be in. You'll click upload and make GIF. 
It includes like tons of different options. You can do a lot of different things on here. This is a pretty simple one. And you can talk, you can change the timing, you can change the range in case you wanna like skip some or you decide you don't like it. And you're going to make your GIF. And then there we go. One thing that I do is don't stack frames. So that just means that all of these frames are kind of on top of each other at once. Let's see if it makes a change. It doesn't make too much of a change here, but in some of these GIFs, it will make a change. So for this power and pricing one, if we stack them and for this GIF, this dollar bill will be there at the same time as this dollar bill will be there at the same time as this dollar bill. So it kind of, instead of this one moving, it looks like you're adding a new one on top of it each time. So we make sure we don't stack the frames for that. Sometimes the colors can blend together if you do that. So I tend to do don't stack the frames. And if you want to keep the first frame as the background, you can, and then just change one thing on it. So this is super easy. And then you're just gonna click save. You can do a lot of things to it, of course, but you don't necessarily have to. And then however you want to get it over to your phone um, is no big deal. I just use Google Photos and I just put them in a little gifts category and it looks, you know, it's on a black background. Some of them look really crappy quality when they first upload. Okay, there we go. For a while, it was looking really crappy there, which is totally fine. And even if you click on this, it's really kind of grainy on the edges, but that's not going to show up on your phone. So then I'll show you how to bring it into Instagram. So what you're gonna do here is go into your stories. You'll do whatever you want. I'm just gonna do a create. You can type something, you can take a picture, you can do whatever you want. But once you have it ready to go, you're going to exit Instagram, go into your photos, click on your GIF, hold it down, click copy, and then go back into Instagram. And on the corner, it's going to pop up add sticker. So you just click that. And then you can resize and place your GIF just as you would with a normal GIF. It is tough to get approved to create GIFs that will be in the GIF search feature. So you do need to use this copy and paste method for GIFs that you create yourself, but the possibilities are pretty limitless and it's super fun. Um, you've seen a lot of the ones that I created and you can do this in your brand colors or whatever vibes, images, text that you want. Most of mine are just simple text, but there's a lot of different things you can do with this. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do want to download this stationary, not stationary GIF, there is a link to a download for it in the description of this video. And if you are a stationary designer, I hope you'll join us in Stationary School, my monthly membership platform for invitation designers, uh, teaching you how to grow your business and make more money selling wedding invitations. Thanks everyone.